Hi, I bet you're wondering what's happened in our local real estate market with all this COVID-19. I'm here to give you a full report on April 2020. Stay tuned. I wanted to do a quick update on what's been happening in our local real estate market in the month of April of 2020. So we all know that there are some factors that we are dealing with right now and these factors are what's leading to what's happening in our local market. So first and foremost, we are battling with the COVID-19. We have our stay-at-home orders. People are working from home. Many people have lost their jobs, and that is one of the factors we are definitely dealing with. The other factor we're dealing with is the spring market. We still are having a spring market in our area, so the spring market did not disappear. Typically, April, May are the biggest times for people to go out and buy homes, so we still have the spring market in play as we are going through these months. Lending, lending has tightened up. So there are fewer buyers that will qualify for mortgages. And how lending has tightened up is they have increased their minimum credit scores in a number of the different programs. So lending is definitely changing right now. The other thing is local jobs. There are a number of people who have lost their jobs or who have been furloughed locally. But for the most part, many of our jobs and uh, businesses are catering to the federal government or government contractors. And many of those jobs, most of those jobs are very stable. So local jobs, uh, as far as home buying is concerned, we're not seeing a major change in those jobs. Military moves, military moves are not happening. And though they do make up a portion of our market, it's not the majority of our market. So the fact that Marines, Army, Air Force, Navy are not necessarily moving into the area or out of the area right now, that does not have a major impact on our market. As a matter of fact, it's actually helping the situation right now. So military moves is part of that. And organic growth. So I'll talk about um, some fascinating facts I found out in a little bit, but what has caused the market we're in right now, not only are these factors, but we've also had some great organic growth in our real estate market over the years. And what I mean by organic growth is home values are tending to go up and it's not because of a boom, it's not because of a bubble, it's not because of subprime lending, it truly is because of supply and demand. So organic growth in our market is another factor. So here's what's going on. Our market summary, I'm going to compare this year to last year and let you know what's going on. And this is only looking at the month of April. So April 2020 compared to April 2019. April 2020, our total sold volume was $213 million in the month of April. Last year, it was less than 190. So that's up 12.3% over last year. Our average sales price is $355,000 in our market. Last year, it was 331. That's an increase of about 7.5% over last year. The number of homes sold this year is actually outpacing the number of homes sold last year in April. So this year we sold 598. Last year we sold 573. So that's about a 4.5% increase this year compared to last year. And the time it takes to sell a house is down 23%. It only takes on average about 29 days this year, where last year it took about nine days longer to sell a home. The fascinating thing is the pace of the market um, is really good. We've had that nice organic growth. One of the challenges we're dealing with is lack of inventory. So when the inventory goes down and basically the demand stays the same, that's what's increasing these prices and decreasing this time on market. I wanted to take a look back to see how does 2020, how does this current market compare to that crazy bubble market we were experiencing in 2005. And I was fascinated to see that the numbers are virtually the same. So we've sold 213 million in the month of April. Last year it was 200, or excuse me, 2005, it was 207. 
Average sold price this year, 355, 2005, it was 345. Number of homes sold was 398 this year. In 2005, it was 602, so a difference of just four houses. And days on market was a lot faster back in 2005. It was 19 days, but 29 days is where we are right now. But I want to point out that the factors are different. The factors that led to this performance in 2005 were not the factors that we have right now. And the major factor that led to this in 2005 was that subprime lending. It created more demand because more people were getting loans, whether they should have or not, more people were getting loans. Because of our uh, lending regulations that we have right now, that is not happening. So that is a major difference between now and 2005. And as we all know, so many things have happened between now and then, and so many lending regulations have been put in place to make sure some of that craziness does not happen again. Of course, all locations are different. So I'm going to tell you just about three locations um, in our marketplace and tell you what's been going on there. So in Stafford, the average sold price is up 7.5% over last year. The inventory is down 27.7% over last year. The pending sales, so that's the demand. So with the inventory going down 27.5%, the pending demand is only down 7.3% over last year. So the demand is actually 98% of the market right now in Stafford. So that's a really good thing. Spotsylvania County, average sold price was up 5.7%. The total inventory is down 26.6%, but our pending demand is only down 6%, which means there's a 90% demand in Spotsylvania County. That is incredible right now. And the one I really want to point out is King George County. A lot of us think King George, oh, that's way out there, but let me tell you, things are moving and shaking in King George County right now. The average sold price is up 8.7% over last year. The current inventory is down 42.8% over last year. That is enormous, enormous. But the pendings are up 51% over last year. And demand is outpacing the supply right now by 19%. There's a total demand of 119% in King George County. So if you live in another place, Fredericksburg City, Caroline County, Orange County, you want these numbers for your county, just let me know and I will take care of it. But I wanted to share these three major ones with you first. So what does that mean as a market overall? Is it a seller's market? Is it a buyer's market? All these numbers look like it's a seller's market, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's not a seller's market every single place. So in the 500000 and below price point, it is a seller's market market. So this year, it's better to sell your home if your home's value is below 500000 It's actually better to sell your home this year than it was last year, right now. It's still a neutral market in the five hundred dollars to $800,000 price range, and it was a neutral market last year. The market this year and that price point is performing about the same as it was last year at this time. So it's the same. And it's still a buyer's market, 800000 and above, which is the same as last year. So that has not changed. So one of the questions I get asked, since the market is flying like this, supply is underpacing demand, prices are going up, houses are selling fast, is it easy? Is it easy to sell a house or buy a house? And I'll tell you, this market is one that the majority of real estate agents have never experienced in their entire career. Many real estate agents were actually in high school <laughs> when the last boom like this was happening. So a lot of agents do not necessarily know how to handle the multiple offer situations, competing as a buyer, um, how to advise their clients, what marketing needs still needs to be done. And I will tell you, it is not easy out there. So these numbers may make people think, ah, oh, it's easy. It's just different and things are happening differently. So absolutely, it is not easy. And I also recommend this is not the time to try to put your house on the market on your own. You really need 
a professional realtor to help guide you through this. Because we saw how fast everything changed after this COVID-19, we can have things change at a moment's notice going forward. And it may not look like this at all in May. We will see. So it's important to have a professional on your side. One thing I think would be great for people to do this year is move up. If you are thinking about selling your current home and buying the bigger home, either because that's where you want to raise your family, it is your dream, you want to change lifestyle, so you want to change into a different neighborhood, you want to change school districts, you need to move closer to work, you really want something on the water, this is the time to move up especially if the home you need to sell is below 500,000 and the home you want to buy is above 500,000. You'll be able to sell, make a good amount of money, make good profit, and be able to buy in a buyer's market right now. And that's all happening locally. So my team and I have developed a move up program and I'll have a link to that in the description below from our website. So please visit our website, check out our move up program. And if you're interested in taking advantage of that, reach out to us directly and we will take care of you. I have been selling houses in the Fredericksburg area for nearly 17 years now, and I know this market like the back of my hand. So if you have a home you're thinking about selling, let's sit down, talk about what's happening in the market surrounding your home. The information in the media is from all over the place. They're having articles in the Freelance Star written by people out of Texas and Pennsylvania where things were totally shut down and they are not experiencing what we were experiencing. So if you're thinking about it, sit down, let's get together, let's talk about it. If you're thinking about buying, especially in the price ranges where it's more of a seller's market, we really do need to sit down to talk about a strategy surrounding that because more than likely you will be in competition with other buyers for the exact same house. So feel free to reach out to me, feel free to reach out to my team. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep abreast of all the things that are happening. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Hey you, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here to keep all this great information coming to you. And if you want to know more about the services we provide here in the great Commonwealth of Virginia, click the link to our website, go fill out a seller or a buyer profile, and we will get in touch and help you out. Don't forget, subscribe.